Hey guys, I crocheted these round pot holders or trivets using macrame cord. They could also be used as coasters. For the rounds, I usually stack the increase, but since this was a thick cord, it looked more like a hexagon than a circle. So for these pot holders or trivets, I staggered the increase. I used a 9mm crochet hook and 3mm macrame cord. First I made a magic circle. To do this, wrap the end of the cord over your fingers twice to form an X. Bring your hook under the first strand and pull the second strand through it. Hold the loop in place with your finger. Yarn over and pull it through the loop created. For round 1, make 6 single crochet stitches. To make a single crochet stitch, go through the circle, yarn over, and pull it through the circle. Yarn over again and pull it through both loops. Go through the circle, yarn over, pull it through the circle, yarn over again, and pull it through both loops. Pull the end of the cord to tighten the circle. For round 2, make 2 single crochets in each stitch. Go through the first stitch of the previous round, which should have 2 loops. Yarn over and pull the cord through the 2 loops. Yarn over again and pull it through both loops. That's one single crochet. Go through the same stitch and make another single crochet. Repeat this with the rest of the round. You should end up with 12 single crochets. For round 3, make 1 single crochet in the first stitch. Then make 2 single crochets in the second stitch. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be two single crochets in every second stitch. You should end up with 18 single crochets. For round 4, make 2 single crochets in the first stitch. Then make 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. Followed by 2 single crochets in the 4th stitch. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be two single crochets in every third stitch. You should end up with 24 single crochets. For round 5, make 1 single crochet in the first 3 stitches.
Then make two single crochets in the fourth stitch. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be two single crochets in every fourth stitch. You should end up with 30 single crochets. For round 6, make 1 single crochet in the first 2 stitches. Then make 2 single crochets in the 3rd stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be two single crochets in every fifth stitch. You should end up with 36 single crochets. For round 7, make 2 single crochets in the first stitch. Then make 1 single crochet in the next 5 stitches. Followed by 2 single crochets in the 7th stitch. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be 2 single crochets in every 6th stitch. You should end up with 42 single crochets. For round 8, make 1 single crochet in the first 6 stitches. Then make 2 single crochets in the 7th stitch. Repeat this with the rest of the round. There should be 2 single crochets in every 7th stitch. You should end up with 48 single crochets. Next I made a border using a slip stitch. 
To do this, go through the stitch, which should have two loops, yarn over, and pull it through all loops. At the end of the round, I made one chain stitch. To make a chain stitch, yarn over and pull it through the loop. Then I pulled the end of the cord through the loop. With a tapestry needle, weave the end a few times back and forth and cut the extra cord. Cut the other end as well. And here's how it turned out. 